What's going on guys, it is your boy Angry Extra Game and today I'm showing you how to build your Inquisitors. If you've uh, watched all the other YouTubers do their thing, you know what she's about, you know what she can kind of do. I've also watched them and see what they say and what they do, uh, which I totally disagree with. And I'm going to prove to you exactly why that is. Uh, the sheer damage is absolutely insane and it's not to be taken lightly. It's going to improve the gameplay and what she does so much, especially on a defensive hero, where she's absolutely fantastic on defense. Because any damage that's being dealt, she's gonna dish that damage out again. How good is that not, you know? But before we get into that, let's uh, leave a like, also a subscribe, and then, uh, Get my mic back to play, and then let me show you some big brain plays over here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you before I show you the... Uh, before I show you the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the build. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. Okay, so right now on the base, I have a Dynamica with Revive and Empowered. And I also have a Cold Conjurus in HP B. She's got 35 million HP. Um, so let's see what happens. Before I show you what build I have, look at the damage she's taking. It's anywhere from between 100,000 to 280,000 damage. Look at what she's taking, anywhere between 100,000 to 130,000. Now that is because the 4 second of not sharing any damage goes away and she takes full damage. And then she just starts dishing out that damage again. The 560,000 damage you just seen there was her dishing that damage out on her own. That's her global proc. Now, she's dead. And she's now taking constant full damage of 200 and something thousand until she dies now you, that could be sorted out where she doesn't die at all but I need you guys to understand that the more damage that's being dealt onto uh, onto inquisitors the more damage she's going to be dishing out to the other heroes on the base so just look at that 133,000 uh, 240,000 approximate that's exactly what she's getting up to 142,000 uh, and that's the damage being dished by Dynamica to Inquisitors being dished out back to Cold Conjurers. So, in, in essence, Dynamica is killing his own teammates. That's a bit of a catch-22 if you ask me. Stop dealing damage so you can stop killing your heroes. And then once she dies, she takes full damage consistently. That damage. Now, there's a way you can sort that out. It's not the best way possible, but it's 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 okay. Um, it's okay. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and uh, Inquisitors will deal uh, global procs, global snipes, and take out the heroes before the other hero kills them off. But now, as you can see, she's only taking up to forty-two thousand damage, and she's only taking forty-two thousand damage. That's because of damage reduction. I've got no dodge on her. That's built in dodge. Um, 42,000 damage up to 42,000 damage. That's the same over here. So, that way, yes, Cold Conscious will die in the end. And Inquisitors will just keep on living because she's taking so little damage. And then she's also healing back up. With Rudolph, you take Rudolph off, the same thing happens, she just heals back up. I'll show you the build now that I have for her. Um, but as you can see at the moment, she's only taking 43,000 damage at most. And that's what she's receiving, 43,000 damage at most. And then every now and again, Inquisitors will deal a global hit, taking more damage. And then she's dead. Now, how much damage she's taking now? Up to 80, about 86,000 damage. 84,000 right there. That's now the damage she will be taking constantly. Unless Dynamica takes her on directly, head on. She'll take a bit more damage. But she's still going to heal and tank. So she's a, an amazing tank. 
really good legend. Now let me show you how to build her to achieve such great stats. This is my build. You can obviously play around with this or whatever you desire. My initial build is Bulwark with Soul Healer. So she takes a lot of damage, but she dishes that same amount of damage. I, I've got it with Bulwark because Bulwark increases the max HP and attack in battle by 120%. So she's going to have still a massive attack. I have her... <coughs> excuse me. Inspire Insignia. It raises HP by 80%. When attack raises... Do I've got no dodge on her. That's built in dodge. Dodge by 33%. So that can be changed out as well. My mistake. Uh, I'm not perfect. Everybody knows that. I've got... I don't have anything higher right now. So I'm, I'm keeping with that. That's just going to raise the HP. I've got it with Forest Ward. Because it has a 50% chance to remove all conditions. And restore 60% HP when attacked. Cooldown 8 seconds. So 60% HP increase... I mean, that's amazing. Then we have her with HP because as far as I've seen, accuracy doesn't mean a thing on the deflect damage. It's going to help with the, the global proc, but that shared damage, I'm going to read the skill now for you to understand that, but the shared damage doesn't need accuracy as far as I've seen. She will deal out that damage regardless if the hero's got uh, dodge or not. <laughs> And they're going to take as much damage as she has. And, and, and that means this part over here. After taking into account a damage reduction effects on Inquisitors. So anything that's going to reduce damage. It's going to whatever damage she's taking. With the damage reduction. That's what she's going to dish out. That's what I've shown you. She's got a 142,000 with uh, Bulwark and Soul Healer. But as soon as I put Dragon's Cover on her, that's going to go down to 42,000 damage being dished. And it's constant. It's constant. Whatever damage she's receiving constantly, that she's going to be dishing out. This is a skill on its own. Deals 1,570% attack damage to three random enemy heroes. It's something completely different. It's got nothing to do with the next one. For the next four seconds... The, okay, so that's the start of the battle. As soon as you place it down, there's a split second where she takes full damage, but then this kicks in for four seconds. These targets share the damage taken by Inquisitors. As simple as that. Whatever damage she's taken, she's going to dish it out. Uh, after taking into account damage reduction effects on Inquisitors, cool down six seconds. So there's a two second gap, and then she's going to dish it out again. This hero is immune to silence when she is attacked. Every nearby enemy hero takes damage equal to 10% of enemies' own max HP. Now, you've also seen those big hits. It wasn't just because of the glo global proc. Those big hits is because Tall Conjurers has massive amounts of HP. So, that damage that she just... There's sometimes that she takes so much damage that... Her health bar just disappears because remember she's got 35 million HP with all the HP, the max HP increases that she has on her. Now this says every nearby hero takes damage equal to 10% of enemy's own max HP. Cool down 3 seconds. Now, so that would mean that uh, Cold Conjures will take up to 3.5 million damage. Um, so yeah, that, this hero is amazing, and the best way to build it, in my opinion, is this way. You can go damage reduction, there's nothing wrong with that, but she's not going to dish as much damage as she possibly can. So, increase the HP that she has, and remember, she's not going to be fighting alone. She's going to have other heroes fighting with her. Now, just for a simple experiment, let's... Uh, Let's throw Walla Walla in there with her. Because I haven't tested... I haven't tested this. This is... This is... I'm seeing this as I'm going. So... Uh, where the... Uh, I've only got this low-level Walla Walla. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's replace that with... Uh, Vampire Grail. Okay. So we're going to have this Walla... In the battle with her... Against Dynamica. <laughs> She's got no damage reduction right now. So, I'm going to place her down over there. And Walla Walla over there. Um, 
Now, she's going to get that... I don't have any zoom. Oh, there we go. She's going to get that extra healing effect from Walla Walla while she is dishing out massive amounts of damage to Cold Conjurers. Over here, look how quick Cold Conjurers is going down. Now, all, all that is going down to her now, that 200, but she's not taking that much damage because we've got Walla Walla right there healing her up. So she's a team player. You're going to definitely want to use her in a team. And <laughs> be massively successful. As you can see. So, I mean, it is as simple as that. If you want the best, best Inquisitors, which is probably one of the best Yeros released, based on what she does, I mean, dealing the amount of damage, whatever she's receiving. That is absolutely insane. Um, if you want the best one, this one works pretty well. I've tested her so many times and the best result for me is Bulwark, Soul Healer. This could be changed out, the Inspire Insignia. Zero In would work on her, but uh, Inspire Insignia. Uh, Forest Ward to help with those heals and HP. That's it. HP if you're going to use her for that skill that she has, which I think you should. But you could go accuracy if you want her global attack to hit every time but that's gonna be it it's a just a simple video just to explain to you exactly how this hero works and what you should do to use it properly i hope you guys enjoyed it please remember to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and goodbye